What's up guys? Welcome back. And here we have the uh the last normal episode of Bloodborne for Beginners. Um I know I did not uh do Upper Cathedral Ward um and I did not do the uh do the DLC. Um but there's not really very much love lost there for me. Um, because I know that, um, that, well, I know that probably there aren't going to be many people watching this anyhow, um, and so, yeah, um, if by some crazy, uh, by some crazy event, uh, there, these episodes that I upload, um, do end up getting more views, um, then I will... Uh, I'll probably end up finishing, uh, finishing up the, uh, finishing up, uh, the rest of the game's content, uh, but honestly, at this point, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just finishing something that I started. Okay, so, um, first thing that you want to do, um, don't actually go after those Shadows of Yarnum. First thing you want to do is you want to go down here. And you want to go down here because you see that little little opening right there. You want to jump through it. Okay. So here we are at one of the most awful areas in the whole game ever. Period. I hate it. Um, because there are winter lanterns. I don't like winter lanterns. I think they're uh, pretty bitch ass. Um, and so, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run the fuck past them all. That's right. I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay. Two more. By golly. I'm freaking done with this shit. Okay. Here we go. All right, Winter Lanterns. You can you can die. You can go die for all I care. Okay. So we're we're past that. Um you're going to come to the room full of spider people. That's nice. Um I mean, you can choose to kill them, you can choose to run on through, it's really up to you. Um, but, uh, but anyway, um, I like to kill them because I don't like the idea of uh, enemies coming and potentially following me. Uh, that just, um, I've had too many, too many situations where that's happened. Um, but here we go. Okay. So... This place, you're gonna want to make a freaking beeline for this dang thing. You're gonna you're gonna pull that lever, and that dude, the the brain of Mensis, the one who was uh, who was giving you frenzy earlier, he gone. Down he goes. Never to return. Isn't that nice? Um, Alright. However, we still have business to attend to. Now, in here, you could choose to cross over and get that chest. Um, it has a magic item in it, the only group healing item in the game. Um, however, I'm not going to because I'm not an arcane build and I don't feel like dealing with that Winter Lantern. So... My cape is, is stuck in my thing. Get get out of my thing, you cape. Oh, it's still stuck. Okay, that's cool. So, you're going to come to this area with no... No enemies whatsoever. And that's really nice. Um, so, the first thing you'll want to do is you will want to run down here. And you'll want to open this door with the iron door key. 
and you will be back in Mikolash's boss chamber. Um, I spent so long looking for that, uh, looking for that freaking door, um, in the boss chamber off camera because I really didn't want to go through all the winter lanterns, but hey, I figure I wouldn't have been able to, uh, to get the, uh, to, uh, disable the brain of Mensis if I, if I didn't, so hey, you know, it's, it's whatever. Okay, so I think there's a... An item. I always think there's an item back there for some reason. Oh well. So we're gonna. Ugh. Okay. We're going over here, guys. Okay. Here we go. So, in here, you will. Let's see, where's a safer place to drop down? So you're gonna drop down here. And that item right there. Right here is the only blood rock in the main game. So, if you want to fully upgrade your weapons, you gotta come here. Um, so yeah. And, if you'll notice, we are back at, uh, back at the, I think this is the base of Mergo's Loft, I don't know. In any case, oh, yeah. Um, wait. No, it's not. It's the middle of Murgo's Loft. Anyway, point is, we're in a place. Um, so if we were feeling spicy, we would go and uh, kill the Brain of Mensis. And I'll show you uh, what to do with that. Actually, uh, not quite. So there's going to be a, uh, a cage transport over yonder. I can't seem to locate it precisely. Ah, you see that there? The cage transport? You enter it and it takes you to the Brain of Mensis. However, that's not what we're concerned with right now. So we are, go we are going to go over here. Please excuse me while I uh, while I get back to where I was. Okay, we're back. So, here we are in the nightmare, um, and there are Shadows of Yarnum. So, like you did for the first Shadows of Yarnum, you're gonna want to equip your fire paper. And actually, usually you would, uh, you would engage them a little bit further down. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. We're not, we're not worrying right now. Uh, we're not worrying, we're happy. Okay, sweet. So, once those guys are dead, um, actually, I'm gonna pop over here and snag this bloodstone chunk. Um, okay. So with this pig, what you want to do is you want to sneak up right behind him, and you want to stick your hand as far up his ass as you possibly can, okay? Oh yeah, so these pigs have, uh, these pigs have eyeballs, lots and lots of eyeballs. Um, and, oh, gosh, I hate those two. Um, so we are going to draw one of the pigs out. We're going to draw them back, back here. Are we? Are we? Come on, pigs. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Well, whatever. Oh. Well, there you go, I guess. So, we are actually going to go and fight these shadows down here. Well, while we don't have a... Oh, 
Okay. So we're gonna go <laughs> go back up and try at it again. By the way, I'm wildly underleveled <clears throat> for this stage in the game, so uh, I'm I'm not going to be doing much damage at all to these enemies. Um, and actually, since I'm underleveled, you know, once I get back my blood echoes. Okay. Once I get back my blood echoes. I'm actually going to, um, I, you know what, screw it, screw it, let's kill the pigs, let's kill the pigs, alright, here we go, two pigs at once, two pigs, one hunter, okay, yeah! Eat it, you pigums! Yeah! Yeah! I'm feeling good. Feeling, feeling neat. Alrighty. So now that that's over, we can go over here and snag us some Kin Cold Blood. Okay, and guess what guys? We get to fight even more Shadows of Yarnum, just what you always wanted. Okay, so we're gonna, actually we're gonna draw these fellows out here so I don't have to deal with, uh, with multiple mages at once. Oh shit. Not anticipating that. Well damn. There you go. I may need a lighter weapon for this endeavor. Alright, there goes one of them. There goes two of them. There is three of them. Okay. Okay. Now for the final boy. For that last sweet ass. Okay. So, you may think... Let us proceed onward, and I shall say thee nay, for we must go and acquire more things. Alrighty, so what you're going to do is you're going to go down these stairs right here, and had I been a smart boy, I would have gone down these stairs in the first place to avoid the, uh, to avoid, oh, fuck. I would have gone down the stairs to avoid... Uh, avoid fighting the pigs in the first place. However, I I had to prove myself. I had to prove myself worthy. All right. Anyway, that idiocy aside, um, we are gonna go and uh, go and do things. Here he goes. Okay. So this is just a little uh, a little side passageway. Uh, that you can go down. Um, you have to drop, uh, drop off the side before you reach the first pig. Um, ooh, hello. So anyway, you have to drop off the side once you, uh, before you reach the first pig, and you'll come to this sewage area, um, where you, um, where you find only two shadows of Yarnum and no pigs. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, you drop down right here. Alright, so that I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the top of Murgo's loft. 
Um, but that, that damn, that damn well can, damn near concludes my, uh, uh, this video. So, we're gonna run all the way up to the top. We're gonna find Queen Yarnum. Hello, Queen Yarnum. Um, and voila! That is the lift that takes us down, up, excuse me, up to Murgo's Loft. Um, we're gonna open this chest. And it'll give us Yosefka's Blood Vial. Oh. Apparently, I have an inventory and storage max of Yosefka's Blood Vial. Welp. Okay, then. That was a waste. Um, okay, so you can go down here, activate a, uh, a shortcut so that if you die somehow on Mur Murgo's Wet Nurse, you can uh, go back to Murgo's Loft Middle. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of this video. I'll catch you.